everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. I know you guys, for those who are regulars here, I know it's been a while, been busy, but I'm here. I'm going to try to do better and I have to do better because, y'all, I've been messing up my budget. <laughs> Not budgeting has messed up my budget. <clears throat> so the last time I budgeted was six, uh, June 5th through June 11th. I didn't even go through and check anything off. Um, but we're going to get started so we don't have to really do um, a review. There's nothing really to review. But if you are new here, hello, I'm Yoshida and I am a self-employed hairstylist, business owner, and I like to budget. I'm not perfect at it. I'm not great at it, but I love to budget and I try to track my life by planning and budgeting. So we're going to get started today, you guys. Uh, let me get a pen. Y'all, I'm going to do a flip of this planner here, but I also have another one coming. See, that's the problem. <laughs> Shopping. So if you're new here, again, I'm a self-employed hairstylist. So my source of income is I'll put the, you know, hair salon. North Cove, which is my stationary um, shop. Also, I have the budget box mixed in with that, which is a monthly subscription. And then I usually put miscellaneous here. And miscellaneous can be like if I transfer money um, from, let's say, my savings account, which I had to do last week. Um, if I take money out of my envelopes, which they're all come, they're all empty, we'll be starting over from there. That's another whole story. So let's start with hair. And I shortcut Norris Cove and just call it No Cove, <clears throat> and then miscellaneous. So, y'all, I don't know because I'm in my slow season for hair, and it's generally about three months that I'm slow, and that's June, July, and August, and then things pick back up for me usually around um, the end of August, September, because people are going back to school, going back to work, all those great things. Um, a lot of my clients are on vacation or they are in braids. So I don't, I, I'm learning to switch my wording. I would usually say that I struggle this time of year, but I'm not going to use that word. But things are just a little tight. But you know what? I'm still blessed because I'm paying a much higher car note. I was able to make that this month, which I didn't think I was going to be able to do. I was supposed to be prepared for that card note for these times, but I wasn't. Um, I did take some money out of my envelopes to help with the card note. Um, my son is become a rising high school senior, so I had to take money out of my envelopes to pay like his dues for next year. It's been a whole lot going on over here, y'all, but I'm going to try to be more consistent here. Um, again, this week is kind of slow. Um, last week, I did more than what I thought, but it just was all gone, okay? It just went to a bills, bills, bills. <clears throat> so, I'm going to estimate about eight fifty. For hair, for no co, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I always start on the low end of 50, but we will see. And then miscellaneous, so far I don't have anything. I'm trying to think. I've expunged all my savings and all of that, so I don't know. Um, let me put the date here. We're doing 619 through 6, I believe it is. Look. Um, the 25th. Okay. Um, bills due this week. I don't think I... Did I ever figure this out? Let me go here and look. So I'm just going to go to my monthly calendar because I do write those bills down. But I'll be honest with you, they, I have them really written down in my um, personal planner. So we are on the week, this week here, 25th. Um, the 19th through the 25th. I haven't went in and did any color coding. I just wanted to come in and um, just put in this do. A lot of afterpays, which I'm, I'm not almost done, but I want to be done. So 619, which was Juneteenth, which was yesterday. Um, T-Mobile, that comes out of my Capital One account. Um, that was 158. That was paid. We had an affirm bill. It was only like fifteen eighty six. That was paid. That came out yesterday, and then the next thing I have is on the twenty second. 
I know y'all are like, yo, she, why is there so many affirms? Y'all, I just, I, the, between the affirm and Afterpay and Klarna's, they have me in a chokehold, and mainly Afterpay. And I'm really trying to get those down because there was a time where I just stopped using Afterpay because I just knew it wasn't um, good for me and all that great stuff. So, anywho, Afterpay again. Um, 5150. And I'm just over it. So I'm trying to get that down so I don't have to use that anymore. On the 25th, we have PayPal. Now, also, you guys, this week, I have to add from last week because I paid my Citibank bill and my Barclays bill. But of course, it was a holiday. It threw me completely off. It was a holiday. So those bills will be coming out this week. Um, PayPal, we do 30. And this time of the year, everything gets the minimum. I'm not doing anything extra until I can afford to put more to it. Um, I'm just going to put on the, tomorrow's Wednesday, the 21st, I'm going to put Barclays. The money is in the account, just waiting for them to get it. But I may have a little hiccup because <sighs> there, there were some things I forgot. So I don't know. I pray my account doesn't go into negative. But um, I'm self-aware now, and I realize that I cannot really live without budgeting. I'll show you guys what I was using. I even wasn't using them anymore. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, we did 45 here to Citibank. And then I have my booth rent, which is due the 24th. And that's 250 That's always going to get paid because I need somewhere to work. Um, so far I have that, um, I had been contributing to my husband to send him $50 a week. Um, it's that slow time where I possibly could do it, but things would be tight, but luckily he loves me and he understands. So let's get a calculator. All right, let's move this. Yeah. So we have a few things from last week that'll be kind of, um, coming out this week and that's fine. So let's add up and see what we have. So, so far we have $655.54. Uh, let's put that here. $655.54. $655.54. Now, over here, I'm in debt. I'm going to put $152. And this is shipping. This is what I paid for shipping. And that's kind of coming out of... This week as well, because like everything was on hold, I used my credit card, I paid my credit card, so all that has to kind of flow through, if that makes sense. So, let's add that. So, we got a total of 807. And I'm trying to think of anything else that may come up. So, we basically, for me, being self-employed... I need to bring this number up. I pray that I make a thousand. But as you can see, even if I did a thousand, oh, I got gas coming out. Let me put gas here. I'm in the negative already. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to see. But luckily, the good thing is we have money left over. So it won't be just quite all of this. We have a few dollars left over. So. The only thing is I just don't know how much it's going to be because I've tried to do the math. And when I did the math, I was under by like a hundred or something dollars. So um, maybe a little bit more, but we'll see. And um, I'll probably review it next week. I'm not going to go into all of this here at the bottom because we know that's just eight fifty. Um, prayerfully that we can get that up and hopefully next week when we do a review we will see that this came out to be more prayerfully hopefully North Cove come out to be more um, <clears throat> I have an exclusive sale going on so we'll see how that generates income uh, what else but everything else I think we're good on again if I can get rid of these afterpays and affirms <sighs> I can't wait to because I'm, I'm just digging myself deeper and deeper like it's and I never was this type of person. Like, I would, you know, wouldn't want to get too much on 
um, after pay, but here I am. I don't know. Just here I am. <laughs> so I'm trying to do better, you guys. But that's really my budget for this week. Again, I'm going to try to film more often. It's just that I just haven't been able to, like, once I do the budget box, the budget box just wraps up my all of my mind like all of my mind because i'm planning and then when i do get some time to film i'm just like i'm just exhausted you know i'm just really mentally exhausted not necessarily physically exhausted but i'm mentally exhausted so anywho i'm trying to work out my timing with the budget box and all that great stuff because um again some of my after pays are from like doing stuff for the budget box and so now I'm trying to figure out a way where I don't have to use the afterpays and just, you know, whatever, get, get, my, get my life together. But I will be back filming my budget again, some more planner content. And again, if you are new here, um, I also make these inserts right here. Um, these are my, my, pretty much my whole budget planner is inserts from my shop. Um, these calculators I sell, they are in the shop right now, the pink, and I think we have the tan. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!